Well, an afternoon of Montana snowmobiling turned deadly yesterday after an avalanche buried three men and killed two of them. Today, we learned more information about the victims and the search and rescue efforts trying to save them. Here's MTN's Katie Miller. This has kind of shaken the foundation of what everything I thought I knew and believed in pertaining to avalanches. Missoula Sheriff's Office Captain Bill Burt says the three snowmobilers that needed rescuing near Seely Lake on Wednesday were all expert riders. It's an area that slid that I wouldn't have expected to slide. I've been in there dozens of times over the past years. Jade Green, 24, and Lowell Groswald, 26, of Anaconda were found dead near Lake Dinah after being swept in an avalanche. They were riding with another man who was able to free himself and call for help. In both cases, they super good family structure, super good, just incredible good people. One victim was found buried under four feet of snow. The survivor located him within minutes using a beacon, but was unable to get him out. He's looking for two of his friends, and um, he only has an idea of the location of one of them, so he's working pretty frantically through very difficult conditions, and even though it's only at four feet, that's an awful lot of snow to move, and it's heavy snow, and, and it's going to take a long time for just one person to do that. The third rider did not have a beacon. He was buried under nine feet of snow and was found with a probe. It was the removal and of the equipment and the people that, that uh, perished in this incident that was difficult. Crews were working in high wind conditions and snowfall and eventually lost daylight. About a dozen search and rescue crew members from Sealy Swan and 10 from Missoula searched for the men. Missoula County SAR Chief Joe Blattner says, Crews are prepared to respond in an avalanche. We train um, all the time for these types of calls. Uh, we're always on snowmobiles and skis in the wintertime, and we're taking avalanche uh, awareness and avalanche uh, safety type courses. And it's something that we keep up on uh, because uh, these types of calls do happen in our area. In Missoula, Katie Miller, MTN News. Thanks, Katie. And Captain Burt says the sheriff's office would not be able to safely complete rescue missions without the help of dedicated volunteers.